Despite taking only 11 weeks in the factory, the cruiser was designed to be self-sufficient for one year under the most extreme cold conditions on Earth. It was equipped with a control cabin, kitchen, food storage, two spare tires, and a staggering fuel storage of 9,500 liters under the floor and 3,800 liters on the roof. Also, Hey there, mystery lovers! This is another chance to explore our history linked with technology topic by diving into the story of the Antarctic Snow Cruiser of 1940. Just picture this, it is October 1939, and the United States of America decides to embark on an expedition to explore the Antarctica, one of the most inhospitable places on the planet. The USA intended to cover several kilometers to reach the South Pole and mark its territory on Antarctica, as other nations had done. Let us not forget that Antarctica is one of the locations where few humans had reached and came back alive by that time. Join us on this adventure and unravel the mystery of what really happened to the Antarctic snow cruiser. I am your host, Jessa Remy Augustine. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more incredible stories from history linked with technology. The Antarctic Snow Cruiser was at the center of this expedition, serving as a mobile research station and facilitating the movement of the five crew members for one year. Manufacturing of the Snow Cruiser commenced on August 8, 1939, and in just 11 weeks, it was ready to roll. Despite taking only 11 weeks in the factory, the cruiser was designed to be self-sufficient for one year under the most extreme cold conditions on Earth. It was equipped with a control cabin, kitchen, food storage, two spare tires, and a staggering fuel storage of 9,500 liters under the floor. Also, at the top, it had a pad designed to hold a small five-passenger aircraft for aerial surveys and emergencies. Don't forget that the 17 meter by 6 meter snow cruiser had an ingenious design to cross crevasses up to 5 meters wide by retracting its front wheels, allowing the front end to glide across the gap before extending them to pull the vehicle across. Indeed, this vehicle was like something from a science fiction movie. From the south of Chicago, it began the 1,640 kilometers journey to Boston to catch the waiting ship for its journey to Antarctica. However, disaster struck near Goma, where a faulty steering system sent it off a small bridge and into a stream, where it remained stuck for three days. This unexpected downfall was an embarrassment for a vehicle that was expected to conquer the most challenging terrain of Antarctica. Despite this, the snow cruiser continued its journey, causing one of the biggest traffic jams of the time in Boston due to its unexpectedly slow speed and the crowd it attracted wherever it went. This slow speed caused the cruiser to take more days on the road than expected, but it finally arrived in Boston and departed for Antarctica around November 15, 1939. In early January 1940, the snow cruiser finally arrived at Little America in the Bay of Wales. But the icy continent had other plans. The snow cruiser's challenges began when it was being unloaded from the ship. One of its wheels broke through the wooden ramp, but Polter powered the vehicle free from the ramp, and there were celebrations all over. However, the celebrations fell silent immediately when it touched the snow-covered ground of Antarctica. The cruiser failed to move through the snow and ice due to a lack of traction. The 4.9-meter large, smooth, treadless tires, designed for a large swamp vehicle, spun freely and provided very little forward movement, sinking as much as 0.91 meters into the snow. Despite attaching spare tires and chains, the traction issues persisted. Ironically, the snow cruiser moved better in reverse, achieving a 148 km trek backward. Unfortunately, with World War II looming, funding for the project was cut, and the snow cruiser was abandoned, left there in the middle of the wilderness like a ghost ship in the frozen sea. Years passed, and expeditions came. In 1946, a team of explorers discovered the snow cruiser still intact, needing just air in the tires and some servicing. By 1958, another expedition found it buried under 7 meters of snow, and a long bamboo pole marked its position. Since then, no trace of the snow cruiser has been found. 
Most likely, it is either at the bottom of the Southern Ocean or buried deep under snow and ice. Being at this minute of the video shows that you found this tale of the Antarctic snow cruiser fascinating. Smash that like button and share this video with fellow history enthusiasts. Don't miss out on more captivating stories, subscribe to our channel and join us on our next HistoryLink technology adventure.